Hello, welcome to AnimeCons TV. I'm Patrick Delahanty, and I'm here at SnafuCon in Sparks, Nevada. It's just outside Reno. It's Reno Sparks. It's like one city. Uh, I was here last year when it was held at the Grand Sierra Resort. This year is at the Nugget Casino, which it's only like a mile away. You can actually see it from here. And uh, the Nugget Casino is, it looks a lot older. Uh, a lot, it, it needs a little maintenance and a little spruce of paint, some new wallpaper and um, the hotel rooms, it's like going to grandma's house. <laughs> it's, they've got wallpaper that looks like it's from the early 80s. Uh, the t there's a TV, there's a CRT TV and it's the old aspect ratio. Uh, it just needs a facelift and uh, the rest of the casino, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit sad, but the convention is able to use a lot of their space. There's tons of space here. And uh, the, the convention, SnafuCon, has a couple panel rooms. There's a workshop room. Um, there's a video room. There's one room that's combination panel video, so it changes over during the day. Uh, this karaoke room, where they also did the uh, masquerade prejudging for the craftsmanship. Um, there's a dealer's room, which is actually fairly small. And last year they had the dealer's room and artist alley in this large room with main events in the middle. This year it's not, there's less seating for the main events. Uh, and they still had the tables with Lego and all sorts of other stuff in the back. Uh, in the dealer's room, it, it's, the room was definitely smaller and I don't know if there were more dealers or there were just more, I don't know if there were more dealers last year or they were just more compressed this year, but it, it seems smaller. The artist alley was also in a small room and uh, maybe about the same size as last year, but they had a little more elbow room last year when it was in a larger room at the Grand Sierra. Um, the video game room. I actually don't recall the video game room last year. This year, it's it was a pretty good size. Uh, it was very popular. There were a lot of people playing console games and the stand-up arcade games. They had Para Para and DDR and all, all the popular stuff. Um, and that's in contrast to the hotel or the casino's arcade that they had at the other end of the hotel that had just about nobody in it. Uh, of course you had to pay for those games, but the games were also in a very sad state. So the con definitely provided better video games than the hotel. Um, there was, uh, right out here, there was a con row where conventions were able to promote themselves. We had uh, Wizard World and Kraken Con and uh, a couple others. And uh, the, the odd thing about this con though was it's kind of split in two. The hotel has two towers, an east tower and a west tower, and the convention facilities are kind of split into both areas. Right now I am in the west tower area where most of the bigger events were held, but the panels were over in the east tower, which by the way, the east tower apparently has the better hotel rooms that were an extra five bucks a night or something, but it still looks like grandma's house. Anyway. Uh, to get from one end of the con to the other, you have to walk down a long hallway. And uh, so it would take you, you know, three to five minutes to get from one end of the con to the other. So if you're in dealer's room and you're trying to get to a panel, you have to plan a little extra time. Um, the programming they had going on, uh, it was okay. I mean, they had a variety of panels. It wasn't actually a whole lot that interested me. Maybe that's just my tastes. Um, I stuck my head into a couple of them and they seemed to be fairly well attended. I don't know if that's because people were genu genuinely interested or just, you know, well, nothing better to do. Uh, some friends of mine went to a life drawing workshop last night and it was a nude life drawing and I haven't gotten many details about that. I haven't asked for too many details about that, but I do know they enjoyed it. Uh, and it, it was a challenge. <laughs> um, and uh, oh, they, this is of course the masquerade. Uh, last year I recall talking about the long skits 
Uh, there were people that went on stage and would sing along to an entire song and it, that's not necessary. Never do that. Do, if you're going to do a singing thing, hopefully you've got some sort of dance routine or something so you're not just up there with a microphone doing karaoke or singing along to the song. Uh, and, and do a shorter one because leave them wanting more. If you're doing the entire song, it's going to be like three, four minutes? No, no, especially if you're up there by yourself. And so this year they put a time limit of two minutes in there and it definitely helped. They had a few skits and they were pretty good. And uh, then there were a lot of walk-on entries. And so a change from last year where they just walk on and walk off, they actually did like what KrakenCon does where they had somebody interview the, the uh, walk-on contestants. And it started off a little shaky. I, I'm not sure they had worked out their rhythm yet. There were two hosts. And they started off, they were both up there introducing, but then towards the end they worked it out so that one would interview the contestant while the other one would introduce the next act. And so that, once they got into the rhythm, it seemed to flow. And uh, then uh, it ended and it was time for the deliberation of the judges, which took longer than the contest itself. The contest lasted 45 minutes, but the deliberation was probably just shy of an hour. And there's no reason for that because most of the entries, as I said, were walk-on. They were being judged on craftsmanship, which was prejudged earlier in the day. And so really all they had to consider was the performances. And there were only, there was less than a handful of them, I think. So it didn't need to take that long. I don't know what happened. Uh, and they, they said it was a hard decision, but still, that's a long time. I don't know if they rewatched the contest, but got to speed it up next year, guys. Oh my god. Um, and then uh, they gave out the prizes and everybody that won got a little trophy that had a star. It was very cool looking, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, SnafuCon. It was uh, October 30th through November 1st here at the Nugget Casino in Sparks, Reno. Uh, I don't know if they're coming back here next year or if they're going to be somewhere else. Uh, hopefully they'll update their website. Um, last year it took them quite a while to update their website with the new location and dates. And My guess is that that's due to the new location and trying to get everything finalized, but hopefully they can get the word out a lot faster for next year. And uh, But if you're in uh, the northern Nevada Excuse me, Nevada. I think that's how it's pronounced. I got I got flack last year for how I pronounced Nevada because I grew up saying Nevada. I guess it's Nevada. Is it Nevada? Nevada. 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 Okay. I I'm from Massachusetts in Maine, so <laughs> Nevada. Okay, Nevada. <laughs> and uh, sorry for that, guys. Last year, I'm new here. So, but if you're in the northern Nevada area or uh, the Sierra Nevada mountains, you know, anywhere north of Sacramento. Come check it out and uh, see how you like it. And uh, how did you like SnafuCon? If you were here, I know that there's uh, some people here that watch AnimeCon's TV and I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, so write to us at podcast at AnimeCon's TV or call our voicemail line. It's 762 adequate, that's 762 Two three three seven eight two eight. We have just one more feedback episode before the end of the year, so get it in uh, because we, we've been doing that feedback episode. But in December, we've got our uh, year in review and no feedback episode. So get it in while you can. And uh, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss any episodes. Go to animecons.tv slash subscribe.shtml. Just go to animecons.tv and the subscribe option is like right over. Up, it's up here. So, uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Open the gate so I can tell that to my wife. <laughs>